Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics. I'm going to tell you a little secret to do if you're at a comic book shop or antique shop anywhere that sells comic books. Do this. I'm telling you, it works. And uh, let's get started. How you doing, buddy? All right. Comic book shops, antique oh, shops, anywhere that has comic books and that you already know of, that here's a little secret. What you do is this. You go to the place wherever you're at. Cause this is like a collectibles, collector's world kind of place. I've already been here once before, and I came back. And this is what you do. You ask the guy or the owner or whoever's running the shop, um, do you have any more comic books? Where's the good stuff at? Stuff like that. Joke with them because a lot of times they don't want to put their real good stuff out because they don't want people to steal it or it might be from their personal collection or something they have online they're trying to sell online. And uh, maybe if they sell it to you in person, they can cut all the fees and stuff out and you get a better deal. So I'm telling you this works. And at the end of the video, you'll see what book I snagged for a really good price. And um, so, yeah, so definitely try to do that. And right here, um, here's some comic books I've already looked at. Everything he showed me here was half off. So I dig in here and uh, I get a couple good deals. So um, let's keep looking and uh, let's see what we find. All right, guys, here's a Transformers, G.I. Joe Transformers number three. I was looking for number one that did not have it, and I kind of keep digging. I find a second appearance of Omega Red, first appearance of Maverick for five bucks, and I end up getting it for uh, 250 So like I said, everything was half off on this uh, particular uh, area. And um, later on in the video, um, I actually asked the guy again, "Does he wh where's the other stuff, where's the good stuff at? And he actually showed me two boxes, and... Um, I'll show you at the end what we find. And um, right here, we're looking for newsstand. I know I say it all the time, but I'm telling you, newsstand, newsstand makes a big difference in the 90s, especially this Jim Lee, Chris Claremont run. Um, if you can get it for newsstand, get newsstands for cheap, go ahead and grab them. And right here, you see the Maverick right here. That's another little decent key. I can flip that for probably 10, $15, so I grab it for two bucks. Easy little flip for me. All right, this Inhumans and Black Widow, uh, they wanted 70, even half off was uh, $35, which I thought was a still a little too high, so I passed on that. And we got a Killing Joker right there with the scene. Um, that is a second print, and I go ahead and grab that. I think he wanted 25, so I got it for like $12. And he actually gives me a better deal at the very end. And uh, this is, like I said, it's the second time I've been to the shop, and uh, it's good just to talk to the people. We got Ruins number one. This is a decent little book. I think I paid three, it was three dollars, so it was like a dollar fifty. So I got that for pretty much nothing. And it sells for like twenty dollars online. And uh, so I go ahead and pick that one up. I showed that in the, uh, before in, in the comments below. Somebody said that uh, this was, that was a decent book to pick up. So I came back for that one, scooped that one up. And uh, so I do check out the comments. So uh, if you see anything else I missed, please let me, let me know in the comments below. And uh, keep in mind, try to look at the prices because some of these were priced a little high, but they are half off. So like I said, just let me know in the comments below if you see anything that I could have missed or flipped over. And uh, I'll check it out next time I'm in the area. Thank y'all. That's first appearance of Bishop.
All right, guys. I know y'all hate some. Some of y'all hate the music, but I have to play music because there's a song in the background. I'll get copyrighted, and I want y'all to see what I'm hunting for and what I'm looking at. Just in case I miss some, y'all let me know in the comments below. But that's the only reason I have to play music on, in the background is because if they have like a famous song or any kind of song that I will get copyrighted for, the whole video wouldn't even be. I wouldn't be able to even post it. So I do have to put a song in. But anyways, make sure you hit the like like button if you're enjoying the song. And uh, let's let's keep hunting. All right, guys. The average price of most of these books are two ninety nine. I think I seen a couple of them for like four ninety nine. But I'm trying to look for a diamond in the rough that I can get. I can snipe out for pretty cheap. And uh, that's why I kind of hunt. I look for cheaper uh, price books and then try to find a key out of it. Just like here's one right here. All right, guys, for $3, this is actually the first time Kate Bishop and uh, Clint Barton, they meet and team up Hawkeye, and it's actually the first appearance of Pizza Dog. And so I went ahead and grabbed that for 3 bucks. I find a lot of Green Lantern stuff. My buddy Larry Green likes that kind of stuff. I, I flipped through some of the stuff, and I looked it up after the, this video. I checked out some of them, and they're only going for roughly what they're asking for, so I let some of them slide. And um, so I keep digging, trying to find some decent keys on this one, or that's kind of close to the price of what they're asking for. But I did go ahead and pass on them on DC books. All right, guys, we're coming to the end of the hunt, and uh, I actually found a really good banger coming up. So you don't want to miss it. I'll see you at the house. All right, guys, we just got back, and uh, I actually got a really, really good one at the end. Um, so don't miss that. But always ask if they have any more comic books. So a lot of times I have stuff online they uh, they don't really have on the floor. So it, it really uh, will help you out if you ask because I actually got a really good deal. They don't have to pay for shipping and fees if they sell it in the store. But a lot of times, especially like not just not comic book shops, but like little small vendors and stuff at antique shops or real small like uh, shops that just do collectibles and stuff they have uh, some bigger stuff but they don't have it on the floor because one they worry about people maybe taking it or swapping the price up with them but they're there go ahead and ask them and i'm telling you it works so i'm gonna show you one one big book i got and let's kind of get get going i got x-men number one everybody knows this one i got this for 250 so i mean i usually pay a dollar for it but for 250 not too bad we got x-men number 104 Five dollars for this one. Another good book. I'm gonna sell that at the booth. Um, I actually found another Star Wars, so that's pretty good. We got Star Wars number seven, and I'm guessing if I had to guess, because somebody said it says reprint on the top, just so you know, I don't really mess with Star Wars, but it doesn't actually have anything right here. So I'm, I'm guessing this is a reprint. Let me know in the comments below, but I'm not gonna open it. I'm sure it says it inside, but I only paid a dollar for this. That's why I grabbed it. I figured a Star Wars fan would like it. But let me know if that's a reprint or not. Because they don't actually have a thing. 
And we got another Star Wars number 17, another dollar book. And this one does, it has either a newsstand or some kind of um, directors. But yeah. And it, like somebody said, again, it'll say reprint on the corner or something. I don't see anything. So I'm guessing this is a, re a good one. We got Miss Marvel number two. And um, I haven't seen the, the new Marvel show or Marvels, whatever they call it. Um, I, but it is true. Like, if the movie does bad, the comic books do bad. The movies do good. The comic books tend to do better. So, the MCU it does have a little little push on comic books. Or actually, a lot of pull on it, I think. We got Hawkeye number one. Pretty cool. And this one was number two with it. Then we got uh, X-Men number five. It's the second appearance of Omega Red, first appearance of Maverick. They had $5 and everything off sticker price. He gave me half off. And then he actually uh, asked him, does he have anything else? He put out a whole nother box. I already put my phone in the car. I went to pay and he, I asked him and he said, yeah, I do. I should have grabbed my phone and recorded it, but I didn't. So I got some other stuff that's pretty good and one really good one. Um, we got Ruins number, um, number one. And he had six dollars. I got this for three bucks. Uh, that's a decent little book. Uh, this is the, the he had twenty five on this one. I got it for twelve fifty. Uh, this is I, I think it's either the second print or the I can't really remember what's I know this ain't the first print, but I think that's like twenty thirty dollars. I paid twelve dollars for it, and he gave me a discount at the register. So. And I got uh, another Omega Red, second Omega Red, first Maverick. Then I got some G.I. Joe number one with the Transformers. I actually just recently watched the movie and the, the introducing the uh, G.I. Joes. I know this ain't the first one, but these are actually going for a little bit. I paid a dollar a piece for them. Um, these are going for a little bit. And then this is like a holographic full cover. I got three of these for a dollar. They'll sell for $10 at the booth. And these are near mint copies. So pretty good. Then we got this one. He had 28 for, I, I got it for 12 bucks. How cool is that? Thor. It's a sketch cover. And the back of it, I believe, has something on it too. Let's check it out. Dude, I actually had Mark Bagley to sign a second, or the first appearance of um, Carnage. And he, he left a sticker right here and he pulled it. He almost caught the book. He pulled it like really slow and it almost caught. I seen it kind of drag across it, but it didn't catch. I'm like, oh my God, he almost tear my, he almost ruined my book. But I mean, obviously he knows what he's doing. I don't know because he was busy or what. How cool is that sketch? And look at the back of it. Yeah. Cool, cool. That's why I got I'm probably going to get this one graded just because how cool it is in the back. Send that baby to CGC. I ain't never seen a sketch cover like that. So I went ahead and grabbed it for 12 bucks. And the last but not least, um, I actually been looking for this book. I got this book for $30. It is a lower grade book, but I'm happy with it. It's actually the first time that Thor and the Hulk battle. We got Journey into Mystery number, what number is this? 112. I think it's actually a um, origin of Loki too. Well, it might, I'm not sure 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. But how cool is that? Look how good the cover is. It is dinged up right here, but I got it for cheap, so I'm not gonna complain at all. So that's going on the wall. If you don't know, Thor's my favorite uh, favorite character and superhero. But anyways, y'all, um, let me know about them Star Wars books. If you join the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.